All right, we're gonna start out with a TMC 2488 size eight hook. We're gonna start wrapping, whoops, start wrapping the thread right about halfway down the shank, right until the, the start of the bend. I'm gonna clip the thread off and work our way back up. Just leaving enough room to put on a large bead chain eyes. Clip one of those off. And like I said, leaving up some room just behind the eye. So do some X wraps. Okay. <clears throat> Take our thread down to the back end of the hook. Take some olive zonker strip, about three quarters of an inch. We're gonna wanna clip that off. Get all that excess hair out of there. And just clip it. There we go. Make sure all the hair fibers are even. And just kind of measure that to the hook. And then Tie that in. Take it all the way back down to the back end of the hook again. We're going to take some chocolate brown dubbing to match our dark brown UTC 140 thread. I'm sorry, I didn't mention that. Gonna wrap that all the way down. Just enough to cover the entire shank. Nice tight wraps. Then we're gonna take some pumpkin green orange silly legs. I get these from Bass Pro. You can find them on eBay but just make sure they're pumpkin or in, in green orange barred silly legs so I like to take them split them in half Oops. and put it just around the uh, around the thread, secure it with a couple wraps, turn the fly over and do the same thing with the other silly leg, put it in half, cut it, Okay, kind of put those back, make a few wraps in the front to kind of secure them in place if they're cooperating. There we go. All right. Let's leave that right there. Now I want to take some uh, pheasant rump patch in olive. And I'll select a, a longer feather. I can get this. Yep. There we go. Peel some of those fibers back. Make a little tuft and 
tire bin right in the back. Then we're gonna to wanna to pull that piece back and tie it in. If you have a thread holder, you wanna put your thread in the vise and just twirl it. You know, use your if you have a rotating vise, you can use that. Just tie this in. Just a couple of wraps. And if there's any stray feathers, kind of pull those out if you so desire. And make it another couple of wraps just to secure everything in place. Then we're going to take some more chocolate brown dubbing. Oops. Kind of twirl that on to. Make a nice finish on the fly around the eyes. Just wrap it around right after the eyes and then do some cross wraps. Just right in the front. Going to add a little bit more dubbing for the front. Here we go. And you're going to whip finish. Once. I like to do it twice. Oops. Just to Make sure everything is secure. And if you're feeling really paranoid, you can do it three times. But twice is more than enough. Clip it. And you're done.